This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create and modify keyframes to create animation in Final Cut. The definition of a keyframe is that it is a specific setting for a specific parameter at a specific point in time that creates change during playback. Keyframes create change, and we always work with keyframes in pairs. You can't just set one keyframe. You have to set two or more. So let me show you how to add, modify, and remove keyframes, then how to reset a parameter to its default state. We talked about the fact that the Ken Burns effect gives us a chance to animate, but it animates from the entire clip. It doesn't animate from a piece of it. Well, here... Let's go to, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to go up to scale, set this to 50%. Put the playhead in the middle of it. I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. I'm clicking and just typing in the number. And I'm going to, uh, let's do this, transform. And we'll tuck it, tuck it up into this corner. Okay, that's where I want it to end up. So I'm going to animate this using keyframes. Every parameter in Final Cut, these diamonds here allow me to set keyframes. So I want to have it end up right about there. I want to have it end up in that position. So I set the ending position first. Then I set keyframes. I want to have it end in that position with that amount of rotation, with that amount of scaling. I, I create the finished effect and set keyframes for it. A keyframe is when the diamond is yellow. Then I go back to the beginning position, because I already set the start. I go back to the beginning position, and then I reset all this stuff back to zero. Dead center in Final Cut is zero, zero. Rotation, when everything is square, is zero. Scale, when it's 100%, is full screen. And now I've set keyframes. And as I play this back, our image comes in and flies back. This allows me to have an effect that starts in the middle and ends in the middle or any combination thereof. I can also change the shape of the path. Right now it's a straight line, but I could make the path a curve. I've got articles on my website on how to do that. If you want to jump between keyframes, this arrow takes you to the previous keyframe. This arrow takes you to the next keyframe. If you need to remove a keyframe because you don't need it, land on the keyframe and click this button. It removes any keyframes, so you can redo that. If you want to remove all the keyframes, go up to where it says Transform and click the hooky arrow and all the keyframes, all the parameter is reset. Keyframes allow us to manually create animation. If the animation from transitions or from built into titles doesn't meet our needs, we can easily create our own. And every parameter inside Final Cut, let me say, virtually every parameter inside Final Cut, can be keyframed, allowing you to create your own custom effects. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 288. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.